the repairing SCVs. He does kill it, but the real fight's over here. Innovation's going to pull back to the high ground. He has the high ground now, Anakin. There's no chance in, in hell for the Zerg player, right? Wrong. Ragnarok never stops believing. He's going to push up into this high ground past the amassed forces of innovation and somehow get on top of this base over here. Now, there's a critical moment coming in here, James. It's really important you see this. Okay. So this is only the third base of the Terran, all right? It's like the this third smallest boss. You've got army over here. You've got army over here. But the real objective, James, is to push this way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Up into the natural, where he's really got to find that victory. Okay, James, does he do it? Yes. Of course he does. James yes. is a Zerg player. He believes in himself. So here we go. The Broodlord is just barely getting past this. They are going to fight up here. Now, again, this is a, a moment where I have to draw attention to this. Full surround on this depot. With <laughs> Anyways, you know what? I so think to kind of set the stage for us, I, I think it's really important to draw this out. A couple things here. Ragnarok <laughs> is playing Zerg, of course. So notice a few things. One, spent all his money. He's down to one mineral. This is something that Terran players have never seen the lights of. It's impossible to do that. But for Zerg players, they have to squeeze every single mineral out to even have a chance. Another thing to draw attention to, 900 APM. This guy right now is actually playing so fast that he probably has to change out keyboards in between each game. Uh -huh. Notice it over here. Actually, I just... I moved it, but it was actually about a 260 APM for the Terran player. Not as much to do when you're using weapons of mass destruction. Also, keep in mind a couple things over here. Losses. The Zerg players lost a lot more. Standard, right? They just have more casualties. They have to work through a lot worse things. Idle time, almost non-existent. It is the number 69, but I'm going to ask we be pretty much sure about that. Uh, idle time for the Terran player is in the thousands. Literally has not much to do when you're just dropping meals and winning games. Round is complete. And there we go. Serral's units trying to hang on. Plus one roaches. They're plus one attack is negated by the carapace of the Zerglings. Oh, it looks like the Zergling counter-presses has been, de been denied, Pig. He lost the Evo Chamber, oh, so it's denied. not being negated at all. These roaches are punching through those lings and the Queens as well. Serral's army supply is too high. Rogue has given up. Serral starts off Group C with a 2-0. The champ is large and in charge. Oh, oh man, I... Uh, <laughs> so am I. That's, that's actually weird. insane. Like, drones are going to oh, start to die left and right and just... Rogue is going to lose so much. He's only got one queen on the way as well. Yeah, Rogue is very dead. Like, Rogue is open. It's going to be all right, right? That's what you said. I mean, I thought it was just going to open up Gasless, make some links, apply some pressure, and expand behind GG. it. Ragnarok oh, wow. still undefeated at this point now. <laughs> yeah. He's still... Look at him. <laughs> He's ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Rogue is Rogue. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> my face when the day is not going so well. And the ZVZs. Rogue is okay. The Zerg is moving in with what it could rally together. Okay, this is something that's piecemealed together at that hive tech, the latest stage of the Zerg place. And it's doing what it can. Meanwhile, it's facing the great threat of the oppressor. This is a two medevac drop over here on the right side that is threatening these kind of undefended little Zerg villages here. <laughs> Uh, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, 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 Kevin's going to be dying on, in that back on. room watching this. Okay, listen, you're breaking my narrative, all right? It's not looking good if you're Ragnarok. So let's kind of get inside the game here a little bit. Let's move at normal speed. Actually, hang on. I've got it going too fast. There we go. Let's break this down here. It's a planetary fortress. Meet, keep in mind, it's a fortress, right? Somehow, Ragnarok's able to get a full surround on this. This is a big deal right here. Baneling's connecting with the repairing SCVs. He does kill it, but the real fight's over here. Innovation's going to pull back to the high ground. He has the high ground now, Anakin. There's no chance in, in hell for the Zerg player, right? Wrong. Ragnarok never stops. <laughs> so we'll see Rotterdam <laughs> educating the masses. I want in on that, okay? I want to be a part of that, cr that crowd. And I oh think this God. is an important moment in this game. Ragnarok, if you can believe it, at the end of this replay, does take the win. And with it, the series. And Innovation's still looking for his first victory here at IM Katowice. I want to uh, take a step back a moment. Yeah. I, I actually started timing that when you began, and it was still shorter than Rodan's oh, last section. Oh, come on. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. I do apologize. <laughs> There's so much information in these games. I don't quite have the gift that Rotterdam does yet yeah. to slow it down to the smallest and, and most intricate moments. And I, I'll keep working. I'll endeavor to do better. Minerals. Ooh, doesn't quite get wedged in between the mineral patch, but he's going to drop it there. Nicely there go. done. Good luck Whoa. with that one. Oh, Sue, 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 no, 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 no. It's a barbecue. He's losing so many legs. It's Sue, a barbecue. No, no, no. He's lost all of his legs. Take it while you can. Wow. <laughs> Turn in there. Yep.
Yeah, we do. What a fantastic salesperson you are, Todd, I'm sure. <laughs> it's like, this is what you get around. I'm a generous guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a couple hundred thousand miles on it. You know, we're going to charge you a lot of interest on your payments plan, but don't worry. It's all you're going to get here at the Todd Discount Dealership. All right, guys. Well, I'll save you from the dealership, and I'll uh, reveal the brackets to you now. The round of 12 and round of 8 is about to... Okay, yeah, I've like seen it. It's in, on the way here. He's going to try to bait him. Yeah. Oh, I saw this coming. He's baiting him at Got the watchtower here, lands to Fungal. Oh my god, and that is not good at all for Gumi Ho. These Cyclones trying to escape after they got their lock-ons, but several of them going down there for free to Serral. Yes, he picked off one or two roaches, so maybe not completely free, but it is still a love. This is like sieging with a slingshot against a family of lions. It's like... <laughs> yeah. How big is this slingshot? It's a big one, so it's, it's staying in the lions, but there's like 12 of them. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Bunny's plummeting in supply. He's got no bank. He uh, decided to stick his ground. This is like, there's an oncoming train, and the person's like, looks back at their friends. They're like, no, I have to make a stand. And they're like, what are you? It's a train. And he's like, here's where I make my final stand. <laughs> it didn't work out. Like in every movie. Yeah. You don't see that in the movie. It's not believable. That person never leads, actually. It's kind of sad. No. <laughs> and Bunny didn't, right? Like, yeah. You gave up on that drop, and, and I, I like that you like the missile turrets because it was cute, but it did nothing. Toss yeah. there from Bunny. Grill. Grill. Get off your phone, love. It's StarCraft time. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, no, but it's uh, like Bunny going into the series now. He's 1-0 up. He doesn't really need to change it up, you know? He didn't do anything cheeky. Didn't do anything crazy to Sue. Didn't throw him off. Well, he kind of threw him off guard for sure, but he didn't win with a cheeky cheese or anything like that. It's Sue that needs to change things up. Yeah, well, I mean... Damn straight. Give me beer, son. <laughs> I think he's asking for your beer. Ah, yeah, you can have my beer too. Ah, it's the Slend Nudes, oh, dude. Oh, no, it's the same guy. Look at that memer and that dreamer. <laughs> what a fantastic looking crowd here. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much for all of your support and love and energy. We've been feeling it all the way in the casting area. We're actually physically located. Now that Ragnarok has been able to, to mess the game up a little bit, you know, like Gimno doesn't simply get to expand all over the map and take awesome trades. Oh my god, Gimno just went. That was going so badly. Um, Ragnarok might even have a better situation as far as the direct engagement goes. You know, like he, will, he might get the opportunity. Just took innovation to zero and three. Holy cow. Oh my lord. Not good. Not good if you're a Terran fan right now. And innovation looks. He's uh, usually a pretty chill guy, and he still is right now. But you can oh, oh, gee, gee. <laughs> T.Y. started up that series so rough. Sue really taking it to him in Automaton, but playing Mech for the next two games in a row and just getting the win. Nicely done by T.Y. Beautiful comebacks there. Ah, uh, that was beautiful. Just uh, so nice. he's trying to go up in a hive and get hive units. Also quite nice, and he is hitting that work account of Serral. Bailing speed is done. He's looking for those connections with those Hellions. Nice grenade wow. from Gumiho there. That was insane. Landing in the middle of there, everything. I think just when Serral was about to catch a lot of these Hellions and kill them. Saved. <laughs> Katowice, <laughs> it is rogue. Please survive, bro. Rogue, please, please survive. survive. <laughs> Lower right hand side. The red towel Terran himself, it's Mr. Gumio. Underrated moment from yesterday. <laughs> Underrated. <laughs> I see your sign. I'm gonna need a tier three sub out of you, friend. <laughs> what did it say? When I went into macro games, it would have been very hard, but now I got a couple build order wins pretty much, so it kinda kinda looked pretty easy after that. And speaking of this group, easy for Cyril.